Hey guys, so in this video we're gonna go over how we could configure authentication. Uh, so this what will happen is um, whenever you're trying to access an internal server or any server by the way, it does it could be you could even access the internet. So uh, what happened is if the firewall doesn't identify who you are, it's gonna send you to a portal where you'll put your username and password. After you provide that information, the firewall will uh, allow you to access this. There's multiple ways of doing it. You could do it using redirect or in transparent mode. We're gonna use the transparent mode. Please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And so let's start, all right? So the first thing you need to do is actually you need to enable um, uh, authentication portal, okay? So here you need to specify what's the profile or we need to configure authentication profile and the SSL uh, service profile. All right, so let's do that. So under authentication profile, we could use this one, but let's clone it because maybe in the future I want to um, introduce to it multi-factor authentication. So that would be nice. One time I've used it only to enable MFA multi-factor authentication to a particular server. So you have to specify local auth and inside the service DLS yeah, I'm gonna we could have used this one, but since we have the the net prepare one, let's use the net prepare one. So Alright. Um, so let's go back to the portal. Uh, user identification from here. So you're specifying the authentication profile, the timers, and so on, so on. Here you could specify if you want to allow third authentication, but from our end, no, we want to do username and password. You could specify redirect and enter session cookies and stuff like that, but we want to do the transparent mode since it's the easiest, okay? Uh, also, there's another thing since like I'm currently doing it from the outside, I have to enable user ID on the outside interface, which is not uh, actually recommended, but this is an app, so. It's okay, but since I don't want to change all the design and the routing, I'm just going to enable it on the outside interface, all right? So you have to, to enable user identification for it to work. All right, so we've created, now under object, you need to configure uh, authentication, the authentication object. Alright, so here we want to do a web form, so you'll be presented by his username and password, and you're going to use the local auth, which is the local database on the firewall. And here you could see here under the local auth, so usually if you want, you could what, what you could do here, you could do an additional and specify that you want to configure multi-factor authentication, and here you could configure multi-factor authentication, you could use Duo or Okta. I've used I've used Okta and Duo before, not used those before. Anyway, but in our case, we're not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, I need to delete this. I'll just make it myself. All right, so let's create the policy. So here under authentication, you go here, you specify the name. So let's do. All It could be general, like anything, like any access internally, I need you to authenticate. But uh, for us, let's specify like the, the address, you know, let's just write it ourselves. So I'm going to specify both the inside and the outside interface. Here it's HTTP, for us we'll have to add HTTPS. And the action, so we said this is the one that we create. You can specify a timeout and log forwarding. Let's log authentication timeout. And let's comment the changes. And you could see here we got access, there wasn't any authentication.
All right, and you could see here, uh, since this on Chrome, I haven't used it before, you could see we actually uh, got redirected to the authentication profile, and you see the certificate didn't generate any certificate errors since we're using the NetPrepare certificate, which is a legit certificate, okay? So here we specify just uh, our username and password. And you see we're able to authenticate and go in. And if you go into the portal, you could see before. Uh, so authentication redirect. And you could see we were able to authenticate, okay? Authentication successful. Please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining.